Welcome to issue 1088 um, on the cover, Maxine Peak, one of our favourites. Anyone who saw Maxine doing Mask of Anarchy at the last Manchester International Festival will know just uh, how uh, compelling and, and original some of her drama is. And uh, with this year's Manchester International Festival underway, her new play, The Scriker, promises to be just as powerful and just as compelling. In our interview with her, she also has some strong words for Manchester's city leaders. Um, her city, she says, which once used to be a progressive place, is now in danger of turning its back on the poorest and most vulnerable of the city. Um, homelessness, she says, breaks my heart. With the recent attacks in Tunisia and Kuwait, jihadi violence is in the headlines still, and uh, we have a special report from Peshawar in northwest Pakistan, which is still reeling from the attack last December on the army school that left 150 people, most of them children, dead. Um, the suicide attacks there have, have continued since, but one organisation called uh, Aware Girls is doing its best to counter extremism through peaceful opposition. On the arts pages is a preview of an important exhibition of Jackson Pollock's work at Tate Liverpool. Uh, Pollock, of course, best known for the colourful drip paintings that he made, but uh, his so-called black pourings made in a, a dark period of his life in 1951 to 53 reveal a very different side to the uh, radical and revolutionary artist. Elsewhere in the magazine, we report on Yorkshire Festival Parklands, which is set to go ahead this year despite owing thousands of pounds to last year's traders, many of whom can ill afford the losses. Actor Jane Seymour writes a letter to her younger self uh, and columnist Nicola Mostyn has a handy checklist to prevent you getting into some embarrassing moments uh, when you're sending email. Um, thanks for listening, we hope you enjoy the magazine.